So we're ab we're about to meet with someone that had that's selling a uh, 2007 or 8 GT, I believe, and uh, we are going to go take a look at it. Um, I, we do have uh, some serious buyers on the Camaro, and we'll see what happens. Also, I do have a media page as well. I'm going to be reviewing a lot of tech. I know I'm a, I'm gonna do with many talents. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, I got the Google Pixel 7 Pro here. We're gonna be reviewing that. I'm gonna go down to Nashville, that should be fun. So I might do a little vlog on you know, what I do behind the scenes there. And uh, the media page is SGO Media, S-G-O and then Media. So I'll probably put down the link, but I always forget to put the links or any kind of whatever. But anyways, we're gonna go see this car. Um, it's pretty much full bolt-on. I think it's cammed as well. This Mustang GT three valve is probably pushing around 340, 360 wheel. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I don't want to get rid of the Camaro, but sometimes, man, I gotta make some some decisions in life. But we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens because even if I keep the Camaro, it's not gonna hurt me. But uh, uh, just I have other things planned. But again, man, it's just it just comes down to if people give me the right money that I'm that I'm asking, right? If they're people are they're giving our are freaking um, uh, offering like you know, 22, 23, I'm not gonna let it go for that that low. I mean, stock for stock, it's going for 28, 29, 27, you know. Um, I might let it go for 25, 20, 26, but no lower, no lower than that. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I'm just waiting for the gym right now. I forgot they they freaking open at seven and not six, so I'm just waiting here, I'm just chilling. But yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I got all my gear here for the for the review. Got my gimbal, my camera, my lenses. And uh yeah, this review should be fun, man. Review should be fun. Alright, the workout was done. We did a little bit of chest and triceps. Now we are headed to look at that Mustang GT, see what it looks like. Because sometimes pictures don't really do justice. Yep, I think it's that right there. Yes, sir. Nice. Four twenty six at the front. Put down three sixty two on the front.
time you start going in there putting cams, you know, you got to SS. Yeah. If you start going in the motor, you want it right. You want yeah. the performance cam. You want Actually, the story behind this car, I used to have a vet, C4. I got a younger son, which he's 19 now. When he was 16, he had a Mustang, was a V6, five speed. And uh, he saved his money, I've got a job. He said, Daddy, I want a GT, because I've had GTs. You know, he's seen me with GTs. So, we ended up buying him a 07 Silver. And uh, I got to drive in his car a little bit. And I was like, man, I missed the stick shift. So I actually traded my Corvette for this so we could have a uh, father and son matching yeah. cars. Yeah, that's what we're going to go to car shows. trouble with his because he was 16 or well, 17. Speeding tickets, reckless driving. So we ended up selling his car and bought him a Z71 truck. And uh, I still had this. This is like, I've had this car almost four years. And just over the four years, I mean, I had it. It was paid for. I just started putting stuff on it. know too much about uh three valves with the mustang gts um how are they with boost people run boost on them actually a lot of time depends on how many psi you put on there my builder was wanting me to go he said man you're gonna eventually go to boost i said no he said yeah you will. i said no, no. Uh, <laughs> you don't care too much about with too much power well the thing about it is he was like just go ahead and you know because that's where you get most of your power from
miles does it have? Mustang GT looks nice. It chomps nice too. Let me know what you guys think. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the uh, of the Mustang. Um, I uh, went to go, dang, what the heck, all right. Up here, okay. I went to go see it and uh, I really liked it. Um, but honestly, man, I just don't know what to do, honestly. I, I'm, I'm tired of being in the situation and not knowing what to do. And then bad days can just keep happening to me. Uh, and uh, but something always good happens. Remember that one time that uh, I told you about the, uh, whenever the Camaro got towed and the guy actually bought me Taco Bell from the towing uh, service. My, uh, I went downtown to do that review that I was talking about in the morning about the, the phone and that I was uh, gonna review. And I parked in, uh, in at a gas station near the stadium. And it, it I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm pissed at myself and uh, just, Anyways, I parked and supposedly nobody's supposed to park there because there was a Titans game and there was going to be a lot of people trying to park there and there was a lot of event parking and stuff like that. But I thought gas station, you know, I'm going to only be out for like 30, 30 minutes to an hour. But whenever I came back, car was gone uh, and I, I had to get an Uber to go get the car and the car uh, to get the car out was about $275. So yeah that's what happened but the good thing is the uber actually uh, refunded me the trip because he was having um he knew about the like uh, I was saying i'm stressing it again i'm at sonic these 90 days ain't going well bro i'm telling you that right now <clears throat> but uh all right so the uber driver we got you what you got talking and i told him what was happening why they needed the uber driver whatever uh the uber uh ride and i was telling him how i you know, I got my towed, uh, my car towed, and you know, I was just doing some photography, some reviews, and stuff like that, trying to make a living. And he was like, "You know what, man? You're having a, a really bad day. I'm gonna go ahead and refund you this this ride." And I was like, "Man, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. I always be complaining about something, and always God always shows me that He's out there for me. You know." $275 went out the door, um, but the money can be recuperated. And uh, if you're watching this, uh, thank you so much for the refund. I appreciate it. May God bless you and just, uh, you know, hope God blesses your business about uh, or the, the Uber driving and things like that. But uh, but came back and uh, had a walk with my wife, with with uh, with her daughter and uh you know, now we're eating and, you know, we're, we're, we're blessed. So just wanted to kind of throw that out there because, man, when it rains, it freaking pours. This whole week, this whole month has been kind of crazy for me and I'm just over it. That's why I just want to give up everything. I just want to give up doing content. I want to give up with the Camaro. I want to give up with social media. I want to give up with everything and just mind my own business <laughs> and just work and that's it. But, um, this is just temporary. We'll see what happens if the Camaro sells. Like I've been saying, if I get what I'm asking for, uh, we'll get something like this, like a GT or a uh, uh, something something cheap to build because I still want to make car content and want to still do uh, some type of content on this channel. So let me know what you guys think of the car. If you if you own a three valve, let me know if there's anything I should be looking into. If uh, you guys. Uh, um, let me know how boost goes with the three valves and how much is safe on, on, on the stock internals. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for uh, always supporting and rocking with me. I'll see you guys in the next video.